Alright guys, this is my uh, my name is David, uh, it's my first tutorial and it's going to be on the bool tool as you can see up here in the title. This is the bool tool, I'm sure most of you are familiar, it's quite a basic tutorial, I'm going to start this like by explaining the basics. So what the bool tool is, basically it kind of, it cuts, it can make it like cuts and incisions in objects, like obviously the basic one is you have your cube and then you get Let's, for example, let's get another primitive object. Let's get a sphere. You know, it'd be really exciting. And then you'll drag your A object. So, well, okay, if you drag them both in, so if we select both and drag them under ball, and you go under ball, you'll see it says, sorry, my small screen, it says A subtract B. Alright, so that means it's going to be the, the A will be the first object, obviously, and B will be the second object. So, uh, we want the other way around, so if we drag the cube first, and then we'll have our sphere as our cutting tool, as you can see. You see that? Yeah. So yeah, it's basically made for this. You can make it's it's all yeah, making cuts, and it's really useful for making uh, more like you see in uh, shapes you want to make like a type of primitive object, but you can't really think of it. I use that quite a lot when I'm modeling things. So, like for example, I'll show you. Uh, in well, my robot, this robot, which is also on my home page, my new bucket ground. Zoom out, isn't that beautiful? Uh, yeah, that robot, the it's like oh, kind of you see, it's like kind of like Wally, oh, it's all terribly lovely, isn't it? But uh, I use it for oh, the wheel arch down here. Because what the basic shape of this is just like a tapered uh, cube, but for the wheel arch, I just uh, put a cube in just to make a cut. It's really useful. I also uh, use this. For an, an, an ex a good example is this. Is basically just like a kind of a modern like chair kind of design, basically. And is I'll show you how I made it. I started with a cube. I got my ball tool. Or Billy, if you're Scottish, it's beautiful. Um, and I made like a small cube. Obviously, it was like I did it precise, so it worked out. I dragged uh, my A object, my B object, and I'd use my axis bands, which are these things. If anyone's wondering, and I think if you want to, I don't know. I'll show you how to get them up some other time. Who knows? It's all nice settings. Uh, Basically, the chair just consists of like those. Are obviously, that is wrong. <laughs> Come to think of it, but basically, making chair like cuts with cubes, and then I'd do some cuts in the side, and the final render is kind of not too shabby. But that is that all that was was the ball tool and then some lighting. Oh, that was it. So, yeah, the ball tool is like it can be used for many things. Uh. As, yeah, it's kind of it's a great tool to use just for general making shapes, and also oh another one, I made a cassette tape uh, quite a while ago. Uh, oh my secret documents, hang on. Um, uh, cassette tape, there we go. Uh, as you can see here, it's cassette tape, and um. I was I was a bit at first. This is like when I first started. This is my like my first model I kind of made. So I first started using a ball tool for making shapes because I started with a cube with like some fillet caps. No fillet, just fillet. And all the like the little holes you see you get in cassette tapes. I just literally used the ball tool here. The little cogs here was a ball of an extruded cog wheel. Uh, there slots in the top. This cut up. This was yeah. This model was purely off the ball tool essentially. So yeah, this is my first tutorial. My name is David, or the Polar Monkey. Um, there will be more tutorials coming soon. Um, maybe a bit more interesting and, but yeah, there will be more advanced tutorials. So my name is David, the Polar Monkey, and uh, a good goodbye.